Hey Magpies family, welcome to our very first black and white show in isolation. It is filmed a little bit differently and this is just our trial run, but let's see how we go. Our first question is, if you were stuck on an isolated island, what would you take? Let's see who's up first. Ooh, um, yeah, that's like a really hard question. Come on Tilly, it's not that hard. I would probably say I need food, lots and lots of food, um, and also water, so they're my first two things. Uh, I'd also need something soft. I would probably take my bed, um, and I also really enjoy company, so I feel like I'd need to have someone there with me. I'm not too sure who uh, that position's open. <laughs> two things. Number one. Tilly, do not touch your face. And number two, don't get any ideas, people. She'll be taking her netball team. And I would take a boat so I could leave the island whenever I wanted. I would take would be my family. So my husband and two daughters, but I'm counting that as one. My family, and I would take a netball and a goalpost. I would take chocolate. I have have chocolate. And my phone so I can watch Netflix. Hey guys, if I was stranded on an island right now, I would take my bed, chocolate, coffee, a boat, and makeup because you gotta look good when you're by yourself. All right, for me, it would be a guitar, a pen and paper, so I could write down my thoughts and feelings, my puppy dog, a pair of runners, and my entire family in a suitcase. I would take um, some flint or a flint to make some fire, um, a tarp so that I can stay out of the wet weather or the hot sun. I'd take my dog, because look at her, how could you not take her? Look at how cute she is. Um, I'd take some food so that I wouldn't starve and I'd probably take some dog food so that she could eat. Uh, g'day, Braz. G'day, Molly. Um, if I was stuck on an island, I'd take my trusting uh, hunting dog, Maisels. Um, my favorite board game, a netball, some water, and my sunglasses to protect my retinas. Be my blanket. Um, my coloring book, probably like my textbook because I do like to read a lot. Um, probably a bit of nail polish because I can't go without my nails being done. And probably uh, myself, most importantly, myself. So, five things I would take to a desert island with me. Um, it'd have to be my dad. Um, he's literally like Tarzan, growing up in St. Lucia. He can live off the land, fish in the sea, and so he's a very handy person to have around for survival skills. And obviously I can't be there just with my dad, so I'd take my mum, my brother. All right, that's three things. Um, next thing, probably, I don't know, maybe enough wood that we can always make fire. Um, from so we've always got heat to be able to cook things and heat to be able to keep warm and then probably a lifetime supply of cordial. Five things I would bring on a deserted island um, I'm going as though we're in the survivor sort of situation So I'm assuming I'm going to get some fresh water and that there will be access to food of some sort say coconuts or papaya or something um, so in which case, first one, I'll say Samuel, and I know he is the one Secondly, a machete. Um, third would be some flint. Um, apparently I have to take a bassinet um, as of Braz's orders so I'm assuming I'm in the situation that I am in now of being pregnant and lastly um, and I've actually found this very enjoyable during isolation um, either a puzzle or book I've always enjoyed reading but probably doing it more and I think just to stimulate the brain, I don't want to get dumb while well, I'm out there on the island. You know, that'd be a big loss. Wow. Thanks, Nat. 
That's it though. Sounds like a really good idea. Anyway guys, that's it for this week's Black and White Show. If you have any questions or ideas about what we should do next, make sure you send us a message. Hope everyone's doing well and Nat's just going to sign out because she is still talking. Here we go. See you guys. Yeah, so I hope everyone's enjoying ISO life. It's great. So stay safe, healthy, um, all those things we're meant to be doing. And what well on, bros. Black and white show. It's back.